This is the fun full card we are going to make today. Look, not a great card. You can put all kinds of messages on here. You could do photos on here. So it's Karen Titus from Stamping on the Back Porch, and let's get started. To make this, I have two pieces of cardstock, a five and a half by 12 and a five and a half by 11. So one from each paper pack. I'm gonna hold this out again. When this folds up, it's still a regular card size. Now it's gonna be thick, so you might have to be paying a little extra, but it's still gonna be just that nice little card size. So first I'm going to take the five and a half by 12 and I am going to score it at one inch, four and a half inches, and eight inches. There will be in the description a link to go to my blog where all of this will be written out, the measurements, so don't feel like you have to get it all now. Okay, so here is part of the card. And then I have my five and a half by 11. I'm going to score this at two and a half, at five, and at eight. Now I'm going to fold this up. We're doing an accordion fold. So this would be an accordion fold card. So there are my pieces. And you will see then when I flip this over, this is how it's gonna make the accordion. So they're gonna attach right there. So to attach it, I am going to use, I'm going to use some tear and tape. Anything with a strong adhesive would work. And I'm using this beautiful new stamp set with these world maps. So this is all about adventure. This is the beautiful world suite and designer series paper. Okay, so now I'm gonna peel this off. I just feel like I should, uh, yeah, hum a little song or something here while we're doing this. And then I wanna fit this in really tight, so I'm just gonna put it, get it just really flush in there and close it over. Okay, there is the base of my card. So it's going to go like that. And you're going to see that there are four pieces that you see here. So what I did with this paper, so that's the first thing you want to just think about, what you want to see showing. With this paper, I took the four different foiled pieces. I think that foil just adds a nice little comment. And then I used the reverse sides for the inside. Okay, so now the next thing, if you'll notice on this one, I have double layers. I'm gonna make this one with a single layer and then I'll, I'll give you dimensions for both afterwards, but I thought because you're here to just see how to make this design, right? And then you can create whatever you want yourself. So these are the papers that I'm going to cut. I'm going to have, let's see, we'll do them by order here. I'm gonna cut one that's three and three fourths by five and a quarter, two, that are three and a quarter by five and a quarter, two that are two and three quarters by five and a quarter, and two that are two and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to just start putting these on. I'm gonna start working from the back, back side in. And I'm going to decorate all of my pages. By the way, if you're wondering about where you write the words or the message, this is what I chose to do. This is on the back, so this is where you do your message. Then I'm going to keep working. Now I'll go to the next size, and I'm going to pick this one next because I want the foil to show on that part. So I will add these. These colors are just fun. This is the I don't think I even know the names of these, but these are a lot of the new colors, <laughs> which are really fun too. Getting new papers and doing something like that is so fun because it just makes everything all exciting to play with. So see how quickly this is going together? So this is really actually an easy card to 
put together. Who would you think of sending a card with this for? This would be a fun card with, even from a memory thing, to put in some pictures or a card from a bunch of you. You could put a lot of different sayings or a lot of different notes in here. And then I have my last two. So I'm going to put the inside one in. Mm, and do you know what I forgot to bring out here was my ribbon. So we're going to pretend this. I'm just going to show you. We can just visualize before I add this last piece. You see this? I'm going to want to put my ribbon around it because that's going to go over the ribbon and hold it in place. So that's what I'm missing. But how pretty is that? Now you'll see the little bit of difference because this one has the added layer. You can always do that. Adding layers adds that little extra pizzazz to classes, to cards, <laughs> to classes. But I also think it's just beautiful without. So whichever way you want to do it. And then after that is just a matter of decorating. So to do this card, I am using just words from this stamp set and the dies that go with this. These are just such fun dies with the globe and we've got the feather and the lot. And so all of this kind of fits with an adventure theme. And then the other set that I used was the Tasteful Touches dies because it has all different kinds of like for greetings. So all of these come out of that set. And I think this just makes a really stunning card. So you can set this one on the mantle. In fact, that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to put it on the mantle after this. And so I hope you enjoy it. And just uh, read in the directions below to find out more about this. And I think there's another video you might like to watch coming right up next. Thanks.